Hey, what's going on today, guys? Big Pig here, and this is a quick little video of a little tutorial how to put RAM in your computer. It is seriously like the easiest thing to do. If you can tie your shoes, you can do this. Um, if this video helps you out in any way, please drop a like on it. It really helps me out. So, uh, appreciate y'all coming to check it out, and I hope y'all have a great day. Ice We got this, uh, y'all saw earlier, we got this Rip Jaws RAM in. So it's four gigs and we're gonna be putting it in this HP Envy today. And this is a model 700-200Z. There we go. All right, this is a 700-200Z. And Super simple, super easy to do. Yeah, we're doing this in the kitchen of a busy house, so might be some background noise. But this is all you do. Get your case off. Take the side off. And um, so if any of y'all aren't familiar with what's inside of a computer, this is, this here is your heat sink, your processor is under this. This is your graphics card, uh, it's your hard drive, it's your optical drive like your disk drive and stuff. And all the little circuit board thing you see, that's your motherboard. These little slots here, these are your RAM slots. And that's what we're going to be putting in today. We're going to be putting in just a little bit of RAM. Kelsey, will you answer my phone? Yeah. It's ringing on my watch. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, so you can see there's this little gap here in the RAM. Well, you're going to look down in your motherboard and your little RAM slots, and you're going to see there's also a little partition, uh, partition. Yeah, it's going to be like a little, a little hump in there. And that, that's just how you want to make sure you orient your RAM uh, the correct way. And so you push your little clips back like this. Now, first, unplug your computer all the way. Unplug it from everything, just like we've done. And find your power button after it's completely unplugged from the power source, and hold your power button down. Uh, for about five seconds click it a few times you know just go crazy get crazy with it so it just makes sure it, it'll spin the fans and it'll drain the remaining power in the power supply and things like that so if you touch metal the metal doesn't cook your motherboard and you're left with just a really kind of ugly looking paperweight so and a very expensive paperweight so okay here we go got our ram we have it oriented uh in the correct way and this is super simple you just slide it in and uh, it's you're not really gonna be able to break it. Don't be crazy. And you just you're gonna have to push. You know, give it a little bit of force, but you just push in until the pins click, and you've installed your RAM and hook everything back up how you want it, and you're good to go. Thanks.